It's Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Karen McAfee. And I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your KWHS News. Before we jump into our announcements, we needed to remind everyone that today is not an intervention day. It will be treated as a green day. Now let's head over to the cafeteria to find out what's on the menu today and tomorrow. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today we're having super nachos. I know you love them. Come on down. And then on Thursday, we're going to have Philly steak and cheese sandwiches. Yay! Have a great one. Bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, the semester is almost over and you need to pay your lunch charges. You can add money to your account in person or online. Students, the blue federal impact aid forms were due in October. If you have not turned one in yet, expect to be summoned to the attendance office to answer to Miss Miles. Get your signed and returned forms to the attendance office immediately. Glads, your book prices are going up on December 11th to $65. Be sure to order your book now while the price is only $55. Save yourself some cash to spend on holiday gifts. Also seniors, the yearbook staff wants to ensure they receive all your photos and quotes. Please stop by to see Ms. Kennedy in room 104 this week before and after school to double check. Seniors, listen up. Herf Jones will be here this Friday, December 8th at lunch to help you order your graduation announcements. This is the deadline for any announcement orders. You can also place your orders for class rings and caps and gowns at this time. December 21st is the deadline for those orders. Seniors, if you are graduating in December, congratulations! Please see Miss Abeta in the Counseling Center for important graduation information. If you are interested in the construction technology or cabinet manufacturing courses for next school year, please see Ms. Christensen in the Counseling Center to sign up for a visit to the mill on December 8th. Attention all students, but especially seniors graduating early. Please check Infinite Campus to see if you owe any fees for books, courses, or uniforms. Stop by the business office to pick up an invoice for your account and get it paid. December graduates, this is important for you to receive your diploma on time. And finally, one of the first colleges to schedule visits in 2018 is Lamar Community College on February 18th. As always, swing by the Counseling Center to pick up your hall passes for college visits. When we come back, we'll have holiday festivities, but first, we're throwing it to Moose Santos for our Gladiator Sports Update. It's Wednesday, Glads. I'm Moose Santos with your Gladiator Sports Update. Our winter sports teams kicked off their seasons last week. Let's start with forensics results from their Liberty Tournament this weekend. In duo, Daniel Mondragon and Dylan Shea placed six, while Josh Haar, Faith Gerwick, and Melanie DeJesus were in a three-way tie for fourth place in the Huber category. In program oral interpretation, Katrina Stevenson placed fourth. Superior speaker status was earned in Congress by both Casey Ringer and Melanie DeJesus, while Taya Andrews earned outstanding speaker status in Congress. As a team, Whitefield placed second in Congress overall against 27 schools. Coming up next for the forensics team is a Congress match at Air Academy today and then Cherry Creek Tournament on December 9th. In basketball news, our Lady Glads are at the Pueblo County Tournament this Thursday, December 7th against Pueblo Central at 3.30. They take on Pueblo West on Friday at 8 p.m. and then Loveland on Saturday morning at 10.30. Our men's basketball team is headed to tournament play on Thursday, December 7th at Pueblo South against Pueblo South at 7 p.m. On Friday, they meet Palisade at 4 p.m. and take on Pueblo Central at noon on Saturday. Our wrestling team has started its season with some great results, beating Liberty, Harrison, and TCA. Tomorrow night, the team has a dual meet against the Falcon Falcons at home at 6 p.m. The team's next meet will be in Monument on Saturday morning against the Lewis Palmer Rangers at 9 a.m. In swimming news, our Grizzly Aider swim team made quite a splash on Friday night against the Fountain Valley Danes earning 13 best times. Despite a few hiccups, the team is poised for a strong season. The ladies swim against the Manitou Springs Mustangs today at the pool at 4 p.m. If you've never seen a swim meet, you should really come check it out. And finally, Doc will have her last tip of the week for the semester this Friday on stress and final exams, so stay tuned for that. Good luck to all our sports teams this week. That's it for our sports update. Have a great Wednesday. I'm Moose Santos. Now back to you, Corinne and Kieran. Thanks, Moose. Glads, the 180 Club is collecting canned goods and non-perishable foods to be included in their Christmas baskets this year. Items such as potatoes, canned veggies, cereal, and boxed desserts are welcomed. 
Last year, the 180 Club distributed baskets to 30 Wyfield High School families and would like to exceed that number this year. Bring your donations to any teacher in the math department. Donations will be collected until Monday, December 18th. Please help. Glads, the WSD3 toy drive is going on now until December 20th. Some of the items you can bring are unwrapped, new, or gently used toys or gift cards for older students. These gifts will be distributed to families in the WSD area. If you bring in gift cards, please deliver those to the front office. All other gifts can go under the tree in the front lobby. If you cannot bring in a toy or gift card, no worries. We will have two fundraisers where you can still support this effort. This Friday, we will have a hat day, and next Friday, we will have a pajama day. Buy a band for a dollar on Thursday and Friday mornings before each of the events to wear a hat and or pajamas. Seniors. Senior shirts are now available for purchase. Shirts are $15, and you can buy them at lunch in the front lobby. Glads, if you have overdue books, please return them to the media center and pay your fines before the end of the semester. Books not returned and fines not paid will result in fees assessed to your school account. The last day to return books is December 19th. Glads, hate to break this to you, but final exams are just around the corner, and NHS is offering free tutoring sessions every Thursday during advisory. Sign up in the library on Thursday mornings. Remember, on Thursdays, the library is only open for computer use and tutoring. Glads, are you hungry? I know I am, and the Chipotle burrito sounds really good right now, but I'm going to have to wait. Lucky for us, the Freshman Council is having a fundraiser at the Southgate Chipotle on December 11th from 4 to 8 p.m. Grab a flyer like the one pictured here from any Freshman Council member or Miss Hines in room 2. Take it to the Southgate Chipotle and hand it over when you pay. Then get your grub on. Freshman Council will thank you, and so will your belly. Glad Santa is coming. Santa is coming. Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh my God! Santa here? I know him. I know him. The marching band is hosting breakfast with Santa this Saturday in the small gym from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. The cost for the event is four dollars for adults and two for children. Bring your appetite. That's all for our news today. Have a great Wednesday. I'm Karen McAfee. And I'm Kieran Doolittle. And this was your KWHS News. Have a great rest of the week. Do